What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the internet. Uh, the stipulation today is by Psytree, and you must take gold cards or multicolored cards. Example, Kolagon's Command. Uh, if present, monocolored creatures and spells are not allowed. This could be difficult. Uh, exceptions are power, monocolored planeswalkers, artifacts, lands, and multimodal spells. So Cryptic Command would be allowed, because it's just two different things. Um, so... That being the case, there's only two gold cards in this pack. One is Nahiri, one is Sphinx's Revelation. Nahiri could be good if we can get, like, Emrakul or something. Sphinx's Rev is good. Nahiri's a little easier to cast. So, I'm going to take the Nahiri. And... This is Xenagos. He's a Scarab God. Coercive Portal. Overgrown Tomb, an option. I think it's actually just Scarab God. I would assume colorless creatures fall under artifacts, so I would say yes. Sort by color is interesting. Oh yeah, so then we can just go to the end. That's actually pretty sweet. Um, Geist of St. Traft is reasonable. Uh, we cannot take moat. Well, we can take moat, can we? Monocolored creatures and spells are not allowed. We cannot take moat. That is literally in the stipulation music, Manly. Come on, buddy. Thank you. I always wanted to visit the internet. Yeah, well, here you are. Welcome. Uh, I think it's actually Scarab God here. I like Scarab God a lot. Also, with Nahiri, we can discard things. That's an Emrakul. Um, It just deals 13 with Nahiri, though, right? Doesn't seem great. Probably want the Verdant Catacombs. If it was the other, if it was an, if it was the other Emrakul, we'd 100% take it because the Annihilator is pretty good. That's tricky because uh, Metamorph is both a creature. It's a, it's a single colored creature, but it is also an artifact. So that is tricky. Joyra. Joyra is probably going to be pretty good in this deck just because we have... We probably might not get a lot of artifacts, but Joyra is actually going to trigger on most cards because I think they're going to be either legendaries or planeswalkers. This could be a Joyra deck. Um, we also probably want to take lands pretty highly. <laughs> yeah, we have to take Tide Scholar or Trigon Predator. Uh, I don't really want to be green if we don't have to be, so I'm just going to take the Tide Hollow Scholar. It's also an artifact, so it does trigger Joyra. <sighs> Remember that thing I said about not wanting to be green? Well, here we go. Mirari's Wake is interesting. Hmm. Actually, Garrick is interesting. I wonder if Progenitus is actually reasonable. Probably not, right? Because we can't get any of the cards to make it work. We can't take... Um, we can't take Through the Breach. We can't take Natural Order, so... It's probably Bloodbraid Elf, but I like, I like Mirari's Wake, too, because it does... Like, they're both green, so. I'm going to take the Wake. I think it's better than the Bloodbraid Elf. Um, I guess we'll take the Duplicate here. Ooh, Tooth and Nail. Well, that's a thing. Yeah, we're going to have to take take Fixing real heavily in the next pack. Level Up does not count as modal. That is a single single mold mode. Uh, if there's no land, no artifacts, and no gold cards, I would assume we would take a uh, regular color card, yes. I don't feel like that's going to happen too frequently, though. Raging Ravine... Sphinx's Rev came back, actually. That's actually pretty good. I probably want this over the green land, because we might not even play green. Overgrown Tomb? Like, I guess they're just forcing us to take the lands here. Overgrown Tomb is good with Verdant Catacombs, though. Alright, so we're actually base Esper splashing black at this point. Or splashing red, maybe. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Hmm. 
Edric. Maybe we're just five colors. I do like, yeah, I do like Sphinx's Revan and Marari's Wake. That actually, that's where I want to be. Also, Coalition Relic would be quite nice here. Where my relics at? Boot, doo, 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 doo. We have five creatures. I don't know if Edric's really making the cut. It's ironic that the green is the color that we want the least, but uh, gotta take the Olivia here. We need a pack where the stip isn't triggered and there's a land tax. Yeah, that seems okay. Actually, I mean, the green is pretty plentiful here. Maybe we cut a different color. We can cut black, actually. But then we have overground tombs. We can cut red. But then we cut Nahiri and this guy. If we cut the white, we're losing Sphinx's Rev. I don't want to do that. Uh, suspend is an alternate cost, but it's not cards with alternate cost. It's cards with, with multi-modes. And it's not an alternate cost. It's literally just an ability. Oh, the Progenitus came back. It's actually probably Garrick here. Garrick is playable. And Archangel of Thune. Five color nonsense is 100% the deck here. Ancestral Recall. Yes. Maybe Steam Vents comes back. Maybe Jace comes back. Jace is never coming back. But we're going to take this Ancestral Recall because that should actually be very beneficial for this deck and help us cast our spells. Oh, Cryptic Command is a multimodal. I like Signet here a lot. It helps us cast a lot of things. Uh, I don't think it's Cryptic Command. Triple Blue seems pretty ambitious here. Uh, I don't want Gilded Lotus because I actually want to be able to cast our spells before turn 5. I'm pretty sure it's just Simic Signet. I think if we can get like three or four signets, this deck actually becomes really, really good. Also, Gilded Lotus, I think, has a higher higher possibility of coming back. Where there are no zero gold cards other than Wear Tear, which is kind of and zero fixing lands. And this is a very strange pack. It might actually just be Wear Tear. Wear Tear is pretty good. Uh, I think Jace is considered like tier 1.5 power. I mean, it's a Jace, the Mind Sculptor, so it's not weak by any means. Uh, I don't think it's Elspeth or Sword. Music Manly, why are we disagreeing so much here? Unbelievable. It might be Sword, actually. We're probably going to end up with a decent amount of creatures. I mean, the thing about Rishkar is it only makes green mana, so... And we don't have a ton of creatures. I think it's probably Sword. We can take the Sword safely here. Copper line. Bloodstained Mire. Mm, that's actually pretty good. Uh, probably better than Bayou, because we already have Overgrown Tomb. Yeah, let's take the Bloodstained Mire. Underground Sea. That seems like exactly what we want. I'm just going to take all the lands that we can easily fetch and that help us cast our spells. Lotus Petal. Mystic Snakeu. Abrupt Decay seems great here. Uh, Huntmaster seems good, but we already have a bunch of 4-drops so far. I'm just going to take the Abrupt Decay. Uh, I like the land better than the Signet because I actually want to have lands that... Like, the, the less basic lands we have in this deck, the better. This is the uh, the granddaddy of all of all multicolor cards, right? Petal does trigger Joyra, but having to include a Lotus Petal in our deck also triggers me, so worth noting.
Tyga seems great here. We can get it with over. We can get it with uh, Verdant and Bloodstain Mire. That's pretty gas. Give me all of them dual lands. Vindicate seems fantastic. Better than Terminate as well. Man, this deck is this deck is looking pretty sweet. Gilded Lotus did indeed come back. Oath of Nyssa. Dang, that's so sad. Oh, well. Um, Disc is actually not terrible if we have like a million Planeswalkers. Wow, the Bayou came back? That's crazy. I like Bayou because it can be searched with Bloodstained Mire over in Catacombs. Uh, Copper Line Gorge is good, but Bayou is just a fantastic dual land. Ooh, Shardless Agent. I think it's actually Shardless Agent because it triggers Joyra. And we already have Vindicate and Abrupt Decay. And we have a sword to equip this guy with. Disc seems not great, right? But, I mean, it does keep our Planeswalkers away. We also have a Garrick, which is playable. Uh, this, this deck is actually looking pretty cool. I don't know if it's any good, right? But... Wow. Somebody somebody up there loves me. Mox Emerald, baby. Boo! That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm going to take this Mox Emerald. Because that's how we do. What up, TPO3? Uh, um, so, so Amp just said open to Sol Ring, and I was like, oh, did I miss a Sol Ring? Oh, no, you were just, I guess, talking about your own draft. <laughs> Savannah and Plateau actually both seem great here. Uh, Savannah can be found with Bloods, with uh, Verdant Catacombs. Plateau can be found with Bloodstain Mire. Coalition Relic, also insanely good. Um, I imagine one of these, actually one of these three lands will probably come back. I'm going to take the Relic. Relic is probably exactly what we need in this deck. Ooh, Gruel Signet seems great. We have Nahiri. Is Emrakul the card? That's interesting. I'm going to cut Mystic Snake just because it's double blue. And I don't feel like until we're at like these late costs. Um, we also do have Mirari's Wake and Gilded Lotus. So I, I don't think Emrakul is actually outside of the realm of possibility to cast in our deck. Scalding Tarn. Scalding Tarn gets multiple lands, right? It gets Taiga. It gets Underground Sea. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a really nice pickup. Breeding Pool? Like, we can just actually, we need two playables right now. And we can just basically take lands forever. But not here. But not here. Not today. How many good lands do we have? Like a bunch, right? Eight good lands? That's awesome. Urborg might be worth something. It's definitely not Nykthos. I don't think it's Smuggler's Copter. We only have nine creatures. I don't see... I don't think we can take Charter Course because there are lands and, and spells in here. I think it's it's one of these two, and I'm actually fine with either one. Urborg could be great, actually. I actually like Spellskite. We don't have a lot of early things. Concealed Courtyard, I don't love it. I don't hate it, though. Also, Jace is pretty good. So the thing about, um, yeah, the thing about Urborg is that like the only card we want double black for is Nicol Bolas or maybe Olivia's ability. So 
by playing an Urborg, you're actually accomplishing the same thing you would if you just played a Swamp or a Black Source, like a like a Bayou. Basically, getting that one black is basically the same. I think it's actually Concealed Courtyard here. Wow. <laughs> oh. Ooh. That is a present, my friends. That is a late Leovold. And the Temple Garden. Bring to Light. This, this would be an amazing Bring to Light deck if we could hit Creatures. Uh, or Planeswalkers, rather. Right now we can hit Joyra, Olivia, Supreme Verdict. We could hit Scarab God. I don't I don't think it's bring a light though. Vindicate, Abrupt Decay. I think it's actually the land. Like the land is is so good here. And we have multiple lands. Uh we have actually one land that can get it. And Savannah came back. Alright, so we're probably gonna need Oh, Gruel Signet came back? Wow. Is it Dre I don't think it's Dreadboar. We have Abrupt Decay and Vindicate already. I think we actually... Actually, we have a ton of mana, though. It's probably Dreadboar. Eh, we'll take Figure of Destiny. Oh, Fire Ice is actually playable. Commit memory. Hmm. Yeah, I took the Dread War because being able to deal with problematic planeswalkers is really strong, and uh, we already have a lot of mana production, and our, our land our our lands are insane. Um, wow, there's eleven eleven good lands, and like nothing needs double. There's no like double blues. There's like I think the, this is the only card that wants double for anything. All right, so. Let's so for a deck like this, we actually want to go over here properties and go analysis, and we'll use this for our for our uh, analysis because <laughs> that's what it's called. It's called analysis. All right, so we have uh, seven white spells. Let's add some basics. We get five five lands. Okay. Rev is blue, blue, right? Sure. So unless we're like really up here, but I mean, ideally we're going to have one of these two out when we cast Rev, so. Ah, oh, Verdict is double white too. Maybe we want to cut the Verdict out of the main deck and play something like Spellskite. Oh, last draft we went 2-1. Actually, Fire Ice might be, might be better than Supreme Verdict in the main deck. Yeah, I like that better actually. I am kind of tempted to play Mystic Snake just because it's such a pet card. Okay. <laughs> it is like one of everything. That's actually pretty hilarious. All right, so black sources. All right, we'll go white sources. White sources, we have seven white white symbols. Uh, and we have Bloodstained Mire. What do you get? Nothing. Okay. So we have Concealed Courtyard, Savannah, Temple Garden, Verdant Catacombs. We have four white sources. This is five white sources. That should be fine. Uh, blue is our highest concentration. We have 11 blue sources. Or 11, 11 blue symbols. And Bloodstained Mire gets underground. So we have Bloodstained Mire Breeding Pool. Scalding Tarn. Underground Verdant Catacombs. So this is six blue sources. Plus we're not including Simic Signet or Coalition Relic or Gilded Lotus. Uh, black, we have Verdant Catacomb, Underground Sea. I think this is going to be a big one. Scalding Tarn, Overgrown Courtyard, Bloodstained Bayou. For seven, I don't actually think we need a Swamp. Uh, red, we have Bloodstained Mire. Scalding Tarn, Taiga, Verdant Catacomb. So that's four. We probably do want a red. A mountain, that is. Green, we probably don't even need a, uh, a forest. Verdant Catacomb, Temple Garden, Taiga, the Scalding Tarn, Scalding Tarn gets Taiga, Savannah, Overgrown, Breeding Pool, Mox, Bloodstained Bayou. Yeah, we don't need a. I would actually add one blue and one white here. That seems pretty good. 
Our man actually seems very, very good. I'm also tempted to add the Mystic Snake. But I think this is just safer. I mean, there are a lot of early black plays, but this is why we have, like, nine black symbols. Nine, nine black sources. Yeah, this deck looks pretty sweet. I'm going to be honest. I am okay with this deck. Five color bucks. One for every color in this deck. One for every basic that uh, that Magic Online wanted us to play. Also, Cat Tape My Face, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. That was some back-to-back -back support right there. I will play first. Um. See, here's the thing. If we mulligan this hand, I feel like our odds get really like worse to cast things. So I think I think this hand's actually fine, and we just draw like a signet, or not a signet because we only have some signet, like a coalition relic or a fetch land. I think this is actually pretty fine. We can't cast things, so once we can, boy. Oh, the old Mox Jet. Oh, and the Mana Vault. How nice. Black Source. That's not a Black Source at all. Alright, well, let's see if, if we're going to get wrecked here. Non-Phantom Vintage Cubes? Uh, no. No, there are not. I, I don't imagine that you would be able to keep Lotuses and Dual Lands and uh, anything else. Oh, there we go. All right, there we go. I guess we can play this guy next turn, and then we can just... I kind of want to replicate this Mana Vault here. This feels safe. I hope they try to counter this. That would be gas. Okay, I'm gonna add mana and then I'm gonna do nothing with it. Okay, you got it, man. <laughs> Whatever you want to do, buddy. Whatever makes you feel like you're making decisions in your life. Moonlight, welcome back. Wasn't there a PT with a real life draft of Eternal Man? I don't I don't think so. No, no no Pro Tours ever had master sets for drafts. Venser, Snapcaster, Spear, Confluence, Chandra. Well then, I guess we just take Searing Spear because I don't want you to have to use that on my guy. All right, well, that's pretty, that's a That's a hand. Uh, so if we don't take Searing Spear, they just Searing Spear this guy and get whatever we take back. If they Venser, they can bounce this guy, which is totally fine because then we get to recast them again. And then they have a 2-2 and they use their Venser on that. That's That's actually fine. I don't care about that. Okay, so we know four of you, four of four you cards here. Fire Confluence is actually pretty terrifying because they can just choose to kill everything we have. I kind of like Scarab God here, though. They can't kill Scarab God. One, they only have one red source, too, which is super nice. I'm just going to play Scarab God here. Like we know your whole hand. It's Searing Spear, Fire Confluence, Snapcaster, Chandra. And you have one red, which is great because it prices you out of Chandra and Fire Confluence. Or Searing Spear, Snapcaster, Searing Spear. Of course, if you draw a red here... Another island. 
Actually, I probably would have attacked there, but it doesn't really do much, I guess. That was actually a pretty good draw. <laughs> do we just play Edric here? I guess they can Searing Spirit, but then we can get it back at some point. See, the thing is... Yeah, let's Edric here, actually. My problem is they have Fire Confluence, so if they do hit their card, if they hit a red, um, they're able to Fire Confluence for two and kill both Tide Hollow Scholar and Edric, which is pretty bad. But we're going to draw a card here, so... No whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. No red whammies. I think we I think we got away with it unless they're slow rolling a mountain here, which would be criminal. Oh, they're definitely not slow rolling a mountain here. Oh, we have a zombie. That's fantastic. I'll keep that on top. This literally gives us nickel bolus mana, so hard to really uh I'm going to get a mountain because it lets us search for the taiga with, like, uh, Verdant Catacombs. So we need to go Snapcaster, Fiery, Chandra. Let's kill this guy. <laughs> that seems good. This game's over. Now they're going to Snapcaster to kill like Edric or something. So we're going to let them block. And then we're probably going to bounce the Snapcaster after block so they can't recast it again. Magma Jet. I guess we'll use a black for that. Nope, still gonna need this. Uh, so they can actually play Snapcaster here to, um, we're actually just gonna bounce the Edric to counter their Magma Jet so they don't get to scry. And if they wanna just play Snapcaster to block Tide Hollow Skuller, that's totally fine. Because we get to untap play Nicol Bolas. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. This deck is gas. Oh, they got the second red. All right. So we know this is your hand. So you're going to fiery conflict. That's a sorcery. I'm intrigued. We get to scry two and you lose two? Oh, boy. Let's put you on top and then you on top of that so that we can actually play this guy and we'll cascade into fire ice. At least I think we will. I don't know how that works. Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> I guess that's not how that works. Oh, boy. Well, 
I guess this is total mana cost of four. Oh well. Casually, uh, casually hit ancestral. Yeah, I don't know how converted mana cost spells work on things. Uh, so you're gonna get magma jet back. Yeah, that's fine. Knowing what they had, we actually probably should just played Edric and Leovold here. We should have played our, our legendary elves, elves. Oh, and then you get Searing Spear back. Yeah, well, this is fine. So we can get that back. So you have to use the Searing Spear now if you want to keep it. Get rid of that guy, sure. So we're going to get rid of Fiery Confluence because that seems like your best card. So I just get this guy back. Sure. They're at one. Our deck seems amazing. Yep. You're going to zero this because desperation. Yep. Mountain. Game two. We're definitely bringing in Spellskite in this matchup. That was a good that was a good pick on our sideboard. Take out Olivia Voldaren, I guess. You lose life equal to zombies? I mean, then you just wouldn't play any zombies, right? I guess it deters you. Or it's, uh... I guess it's it's kind of a... It balances you getting... Making zombies, right? Uh, no, it actually just makes it even worse for the opponent. This hand seems pretty okay. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna keep this. I like keeping hands that seem okay. We're just gonna draw mocks off the top, right? And... And to turn to Shardless Agent. Yeah, take a gander. Take a gander at my hander. Look with your hand. With your special hand eyes. Okay. Mm, okay. I'll just play this. That's fine. So, Scalding Tarn and Bloodstain Mire. Augur of Bolas. Let's see if you hit. Puts no cards into their hand. Oh, that's a vintage cube card. <laughs> it's a 1-3 for 2 with no text. Vintage cube is a powerful wizard format. Uh, we want a red land. What red land can we get? Taiga... I think it's just Taiga, actually. So I think we do have to get a Taiga with one of these. But then we have to get a Black Source with the other. I wish we could look at our deck. Can we? Is there really no way to look at my deck? That's so stupid. <laughs> Why are you like this magic online? Um, yeah, they know we have Bloodstained Mire, so we'll just play that. And we'll take a look and see what we can get with Bloodstained Mire and with Scalding Tarn. And then we'll just decide accordingly. Oh, man. No one ever knows about the Leovold lets you draw no cards clause. That's definitely one of the best ones. What up, Mike guy? Good seeing you, buddy. My favorite Blizzard Mike. Uh, so we can get... I guess we just get Underground. We already have a green source. Or, yeah, we have a green source here, so we can actually get the, green, the black blue source to double blue. 
And then we can actually use Scalding Tarn to get the Taiga. That actually seems very good. I guess we Shardless Agent here. Ancestral Recall in my face. I actually don't want to hit Ancestral here because we'd have to... We'd go to nine cards and we have to just discard two cards. That seems bad. Oh, Leovold and Fire Ice is gone. So sad. Well, this is still four power for three mana. <laughs> One of which steals a card from your hand. Both very good. Kill it now. You have to kill it now. Oh, Sweltering Sun. A Braid and Inferno Titan. And a counter spell. Yikes. Yeah, we're just going to have to take the Sweltering Sun because we don't want you to cast Sweltering Sun and kill both of these guys. So, yeah, we'll do that. And then you can choose to abrade this guy, but then you get back Sweltering Sun and we still have a guy on board and it's just fine. And once abrade is gone, we can play Gilded Lotus and not care. So. The auger knows that his master is in your hand. He dare not defy you. <laughs> that's actually that's actually pretty hilarious. If we can draw Mox, that'd be great, because we can go Mox into Gilded Lotus. A braid is gone, and now you have Sweltering Suns, which seems pretty bad. If you think my deck is a Sweltering Suns deck, then you are sorely mistaken, my good sir. Actually, just play this guy into Sweltering Suns. That seems bad, right? Like, we'll keep the Dreadbore for the Inferno Titan. That guy will never resolve. We can also just Vindicate a land. Moonlight, thank you so much for the shout-out. Really appreciate it. Uploading to our videos definitely does take forever. It takes me probably like 35 minutes to upload and process a, a video that's like a half an hour long. If we track on Predator, they have no incentive not to. They played a mountain. So we have Inferno, Counterspell. We're just going to Vindicate this because it's going to force a Counterspell. And next turn, if we draw a land, I want to be able to resolve this Gilded Lotus. It seems weird, but I think it's correct. Yeah, so we're just going to trade Vindicate for... Oh, this is the guy that just taps their land because they can do it. That that's weird. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's just it's just a weird, like unnecessary thing to do. I don't know. So counterspell, Inferno Titan, Sweltering Suns are still the cards in your hand. Well, this is going to get counter for sure, right? Do we play Trigon Predator first? No, we can just play this and get it countered. Totally fine. They can also just counter Nicol Bolas. You have to counter this. thousand percent have to counter this. Is that your real beard or is that later in post? So, if it's added later in post, then it wouldn't be here now, right? We know you have Inferno, Counterspell, and Suns. Fencer? That's rude. I'll bounce your Gilded Lotus. <laughs> okay, you got it. Deal. I'm just going to block your Fencer because it lets me play Trigon Predator. One, two, we'll leave this up. Blue, green, Trigon Predator. See, now they're probably definitely going to counterspell Guild of Lotus. We know the reason they didn't counterspell it last turn was because of Venser. Blue. 
unless you streamed this video months ago and this is just a video that you're using as an alibi for bank robbery that you're committing right now. Oh yeah, cycle that. Get that thing out of here. Hit that Inferno Titan mana. I dare you. I mean, if we draw a land here, we can actually go Gilded Lotus into Dreadbore, which is great. It lets us kill their Inferno Titan that they're trying to play. Holy man, holy man, I'm calling, I'm scanning the scrambled eggs. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. You're not going to play the Inferno Titan? I'm very confused. Is this what you counter? What do you do when I play Nahiri? You know I have Lotus and Bolus. Lotuses and Boluses. The Frank Lepore story. Come on, Don Haggis. Don Haggis! Discarding Speg Fingers. <laughs> Don't call him Speg Fingers. Don't call her Speg Fingers. My mistake, my mistake. I mean, our hand is pretty stacked. Yep, Nahiri does not make it. All right, deal. Um, sure, I'll two you. You can one me back. Still want to land so we can actually play Dreadbore and Gilded Lotus in the same turn. This is so weird that they're not just playing. They're not just playing Inferno Titan. Why would you do that first? Sure. So you have one card in hand, and I can pretty much play around all blue X counter spells. This is very strange, because, like, you could have actually just not tapped your Mana Vault. I don't understand. I'm experiencing a lot of confusion right now. Alright, so now you just time walk yourself. That seems cool. I'm not talking about a change in your life. I'm not a woman, but I'm really love to see you tonight. I'm just going to play this and we're going to do some shenanigans here. You have one card. I'm going to assume it's not great. Get him. All right, next turn we just go Bolus. We draw a card from Bolus. That's pretty good. I don't think we want to decay it in response. They already have seven mana. I don't think ten is really going to be... This isn't a deck where ten mana is going to make the difference. And they have two cards in hand, one of which they couldn't play last turn with seven mana. So they use this to untap instead. I guess to be fair, they didn't know what they had, so maybe they're going to... Maybe, maybe I'm going to eat my words here. I didn't eat my words. Nicholas Bolas. I actually think doubling season would be sweet in this cube because it's like four. Is doubling season four mana or five mana? It's it's big enough that um, you kind of like it's 
you're you kind of earned playing it if you play a, a doubling season. Um, I feel like they're just kind of fiery confluence and deal three to everything. But they can't kill Joyra and Gilded Lotus at the same time. They have to kill one or the other. They could deal four to us and kill Gilded Lotus. That's strong. I guess I'm just hoping Fiery Confluence was not drawn, but we know it is because they're thinking of their modes right now. Yep. That's exactly what they do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Black, black, red, blue. All right, well, we're one away. Don't actually want to attack here. Yeah, ironically, not killing the Mana Vault was uh, pretty costly because they were able to do both things last turn. Ate my own words. So we got a four. So there's actually a good amount of spells that kill us here, unfortunately. Uh, f f Mountain is not one of them. I cannot abrupt decay your fish either, which is really sad. Is Geddon a got him? Not, not really. Magma jet my face. Dying to Muldrifter is pretty shameful. Also, because our deck is great. And I feel like we haven't actually had any mana issues. I also do feel like we took around four damage from lands. Cool. <sighs> Must be nice. <laughs> um... Yeah, now I want the Olivia Voldaire back in because she's a she's a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa! She's a lady. Take the Edric out. Um, I guess that's probably all we want to bring in. A singular season, if it affected would make one or more tokens, it makes that many tokens instead. Oh, that's great. I will play first. Oh, keep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sure. Blue. One, two, three. So we can actually. One, two, three, four. We'll have to discard. But we could hit a mox. We did not hit a Mox, but we hit another land, which is nice. So let's discard. Uh, definitely don't want to discard the god. <laughs> that is not how that works. Probably Olivia. Ghost of the Sun, thank you so much, man. Really happy 21st birthday. <laughs> thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, we turn one Ancestral because we actually had one land. Um, so next turn we're going to play Spellskite. And the, the turn three, I would rather play something rather than nothing. And I don't really want to just play Recall, especially if we don't have a land. So I want to be able to set up our hand for future turns, past turn two, and the Mox was literally one away, so. And we're definitely going to play Joyra next turn, so. I don't really want to play Shardless Agent, though, because a lot of our hits are our creatures. And we can always play Shardless post Joyra, which is nice. Why couldn't you do it at the end of the opponent's turn? Because if we did hit Mox, then 
we get to play mox and not discard that's pretty good Yeah, Shardless also triggers for Historic, which is pretty gas. Yeah, that's why we didn't discard Scarab God, because he's not coming back if we do that. And uh, Scarab God is a pretty powerful wizard. Uh, Frank, he's actually not a wizard, he's a god. <laughs> he's, he doesn't know anything about magic lore. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Did you just play something for five here? You just did exile a Simeon Spirit Guide and oh now oh a mountain Inferno Titan one time Charlotte's Agent to Dreadbore would be nice if that's the case I just don't want you to play it but we can redirect to Spell Skites to save Joyra which is nice oh are they doing it okay that's actually just fine I'm okay with this Discard a land. We could also just Marari's Wake here, which is pretty strong. What are our hits for Shardless Agent? Dreadbore, Signet... Tide Hollow Sculler. Yep, that's what we were afraid of. I was really hoping for Abrupt Decay so we could... That's pretty insane. <laughs> oh, Mirari's Wake and Sphinx's Revelation? That's a thing. I mean, maybe we did want to just resolve the the Mirari's Wake there, especially because we had an opportunity to do so. I could see that being correct. I wanted to get rid of the Grim Monolith because I'm actually afraid of them with six or seven mana next turn, but... Well, there's more to, more to magic than just being mana efficient. Destroy an artifact, destroy an artifact. I think this works the way we want it to. <laughs> That's actually great. They get to destroy one Mox. Fantastic. Or one, uh, one Spell Skite. Yeah, that was pretty gas. Um, I'm pretty sure it's actually Morari's Waker, even though we can Scarab God, because Scarab God next turn is pretty much insane. Plus we get to attack for seven here, which is not nothing. Yeah, if we Scarab God the Spell Skate at this point, it would actually die. And then if we Scarab God it again, it would die again. Because it, it still has two more delayed death triggers on the stack. That's, uh, that's not how that works. Someone's going to be like, really? I heard it on Frank's stream. It's not true. Uh, unfortunately, we can only rev for 10 next turn, which is good, but, you know, 
not great, I guess. Also, the red blue deck probably doesn't have ways to deal with Murari's Wake outside of a Venser. So, and then if you're double, if you're tapping out for Venser, then you're not actually your 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 options to counterspell are much more limited. She's a lady. Whoa, 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 she's a lady. Why does this song stuck in my head? Because the Emrakul? That's why? That's stupid. <laughs> you got it. Tapping a Grim Monolith for a Demir Signet seems pretty mana inefficient. I want to be, be honest with you guys. Interesting. The Verdant Kitty Catacombs. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, we'll still have eight mana so we can rev for five if, we, if like, Scarab God gets countered. They actually do have Counterspell. We've seen it. We seen it. Yeah, I'm just going to attack first. There's more to magic than mana efficiency. Hey, you shut your mouth, Tiger Nate. So they might not have Counterspell, but they might have been trying to draw a Counterspell, which is similar, but different. So we're going to go black, black, blue, blue. This one, Scrabble God. Draw a card. I don't think they have it. Oh, they have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually rev for five here. That seems pretty good. Music Manly, I didn't even see where the post that got blocked. I kind of just wanted to resolve right now, though, right? Like, so we'll go to seven cards. Like, that's pretty strong. I can't imagine <laughs> that's not what we wanted to do. Uh, also, draw a card, draw a card, draw a card, thanks to Joyra, so. Seems good. Yeah, we don't want to get too greedy. Don't get too greedy. Also, if we use the, the mana next turn to Revelation, like, then we're just not doing anything else. So, let's also keep that in mind. Also, Infernal Titan, Titan can't even kill Joyra here. That's pretty great. Man, Joyra OP. Joyra says draw three cards when you cast these very powerful wizards in your hand. Oh, what are you going to hit? What's it going to be? Yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> oh, I see. You're gonna double. You're gonna double whammy her. I see. I see. So we can actually put sort of body and mind on here, and then fire and ice you, and you're dead. Okay, cool, cool game. Oh, Nicobolus, why you do this to us? Whoa, 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 she's a lady. I can't go for that, can't go for that, can't go for that, can't go for that now. Ooh, the water and you want my soul. 
Boop. Boop. Good games, Senor Haggis. Bulls is like, oh, I heard you had to leave. I wanted to walk. Just wanted to, just, just wanted to peep in a little bit, see what's going on. Our deck is sweet. I think it's good like this. Good like this. Hey, Rorschach, I'm gonna heat those beans up for you. Fine, like this. He just made a Watchmen reference. Why does it go Nicol Bolas at 8, Sphinx's Revelation, and then Emrakul at 15? Why is... If this is an X spell, why isn't it the last card? I don't understand. Ooh. Nailed it. See, this is a hand we will actually play Ancestral during their turn if we're going to do it on the early turns. Just because we only have two lands... Or we, we have four lands, so... Uh, we're we're gonna be able to hit land drops every turn, and that's that was my concern last game when we're like, oh, I'll just do it now. This can also get an underground sea, which gives us double blue. Oh, X is ten, so it's actually thirteen. I that would be hilarious if that's actually the reasoning. If like somehow the programming sees it as as like uh, a Roman numeral. We can also get a Savannah. Savannah might be better because we already have a black source. We don't have a white source. I guess we could also get Temple Garden. <laughs> oh man, getting birthday messages in the actual uh, in the actual matches is pretty gas. Oh, I see. I thought you wanted me to have. I, I thought you wanted me to have a happy birthday. Oh, well, looks like someone else got all the presents on my birthday. That's unfortunate. <sighs> this is actually good because we can burn catacombs and they can't tap our thing. Well, they still can, but sure. It doesn't untap now. Well, that was disgusting. I'm not sure how we beat that. We might have to Ancestral just to hit... Uh, we want to hit Mox here, and then we want to be able to uh, play something this turn. Come on, Mox, 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 Leobold, dang it. Scalding Tarn, dang it. It's not good. All right. Gross. So gross. I guess Leovold's pretty good. Whenever they target our land, we get to make it do a thing. Sure. Cracking this now because I don't know what we'll get. We also don't need, land, don't need any more lands here, is really. Um, we have a red source. Breeding pool seems good. And then we can play Bayou and Leovold. No. I guess hope you don't have a counter spell. Boo, I have a I have a force spike for you. Boo, I have a lightning bolt for Leovold. Boo. Oh boy. Also, I'm sorry, big fan though. <laughs> gas. Such gas. I mean if they if they lightning bolt Leovold, that's totally fine. We get to draw a card and they get a Johnny is is less of a Oh, we found the Mox. Oh, we can go Joyra into Mox next turn? That's a good deal. Yeah, I feel like this game is actually getting uh, a lot more fair now. What are you doing here? Repeal. All right. Still going to draw. I don't even care. Oh, the Scrabble God. It's 
So next turn we can go one, two, three, four, Joyra, land. Well, they're going to keep one of these tapped down. Probably the Tiger, I would imagine. It's our only red source. Yeah, I don't care about helixing. Like, I don't care about a Johnny helixing something. I care about a Johnny ultimating and destroying our lands. So if they want to do that, that is fine. Uh, if they want to helix and give us three more turns before they ultimate our lands, do that. Thoughtseize. T.S. T.S. Elliot in their hand. Oh, he's got Douglas Degrade. He made a T.S. Elliot reference. <laughs> Oh, they didn't cast it. Well, that's fascinating. So we have thought season hand. I think we just play Scrabble God. Alternatively, we could have played Joyra or not Joyra, but like Trigon Predator and Simic Signet, which would have also been good. But I like having five power on board. <laughs> Especially when we know one of their cards is Thoughtseize, and they might not have another answer for the Scarab God. They also, their only black source is Mana Confluence. Alright, Planes is good. Planes is good. I'm gonna Supreme Verdict. Oh, Thoughtseize. Sure. My hand is full of gasoline, so you can do what you gotta do. Ugh. I love the big fan meme. It might be one of my favorite Twitch Twitch memes that we've come up with. Sphinx's Rev. Why'd you gotta be so cruel? I'm gonna revelate anyway. Drawing those cons. Middle anyway. Oh, wow. All right. We just get Scarab God back. That's pretty good. You gonna plus that Jace? So we can go Joyra into Signet, into Nahiri. Ooh. I mean, we can't do all those things, right? One, two, three, four to Joyra. One, two for Signet, and then we have two mana left over. Three, four, five, six. We can also just play uh, Exile and Enchantment. Uh, I actually just kind of want to play Nahiri here. They have two cards. Their Planeswalkers are reasonable, I guess. One, two, three, four for Joyro. One, two for Simic Signet. Then we have two mana. I don't think God... The God doesn't do anything. Nahiri... We, if we Nahiri and plus it for two... Um, we actually get to do things... Like, being able to... Um, being able to get Nahiri to eight... Is pretty relevant. I actually like Shardless Agent here. Let's Shardless Agent hit a Dreadbore. Abrupt Decay? That's also pretty good. I'll Abrupt Decay your, your Mox Drubles. Boom, 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 I think we're actually in a reasonable position here. <laughs> Holy Jesus Christ. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. You're probably going to take Zealous and Soaring, which is just fine. I can't imagine you take Karn. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. You only have six mana. Unless you have mana in hand. But I can't give you Soaring and Karn. I can't give you Zealous and Karn. So what did you put in hand? Soaring and Zealous. Sure. Soul. Zealous. Good to know. I 
I mean, you could steal Nahiri, which is fine. This is an untapped artifact, so you can actually you can actually sell our Mox Diamond, Mox Emerald. You can just steal our Shardless Agent, I guess, and you can deal five to Nahiri. That's actually just fine. That's pretty. That's pretty unimpressive. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have eight mana. We can actually go Joyra, Signet, Trigon Predator. That seems pretty okay. I mean, if we hit Nicobolus off the top, it's very, very good. So we have black, black, red, blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're going to actually try to hit Nicol Bolas here. Um, actually, the odds of us hitting Nicol Bolas are pretty low. I'm just going to discard Savannah. Yeah, Mirari's way. One, two, three, four, five. And we can still cast multiple things, right? One, two, three, four. God, Mirari's way seems utterly insane right here. We're also at 16, so we're actually pretty safe. And they can't do anything cool with Jace. Yeah, we're gonna Mirari's Wake here. That's pretty ridiculous. Um, one, two, three, four. Play this with two. Add a thing and we'll predate. So they're either going to have to Ajani this Trigon Predator. Scarab God with uh, Mirari's Wake and Play seems for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we can actually go 5, activate, activate. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, that's insane. Double activate. If we block here, we can get a Belfal Strix, get a Leovold, get an Edric. <laughs> also, it's a 3, 4, so it's actually immune to, to Ajani. And we can block the Zealous Conscripts. So, Mirari's Wake, pretty OP. All right, well, they still have a lot of mana and a lot of cards, so. Upheaval! Oh, Frost Titan's pretty good. Oh, you kept down... Inter oh, you're tapping two lands down, I see. Oh, you're keeping them blue sources tapped down. That's pretty good. I think that's actually fine. I think we can actually one I think we can actually discard Joy right here. What does this do? Four? So we need five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh no. I guess we could still like shoot a baleful strix and then attack you and kill the soaring or deal with an Ajani. We only have two red. We need two red. Uh, that actually does exactly what we want it to do. We can steal the Zealous Conscripts. So one, two. Uh, cancel. Use. Nope. Don't use red. Don't use. Don't ever use the red. Make a black. So we'll play Olivia here. One, two. Uh, and then we have, we need double black, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Yeah, this should do it. If we had one more red, we could do a different thing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we need five, six, seven total. What up, Nick Esposito? We want to actually just kill this guy, interestingly enough. Because then we can just attack, like, a Johnny or Jace. Or, or we can steal the Zealous Conscript and do the same thing. Um... I really don't want you to draw more cards. We can't actually steal this guy because the two abilities get countered, so... Actually, what we can do is this, and then just play Scarab God. So, I guess we'll do that. I don't have any cards in hand, but really, I kind of do. Um... Let's attack Jace because I think that's way more important here. And it kills Jace, so. Theoretically. Nick, are you here yet? Are you in my town, buddy? Can we hang out? Mad that girl, mad at her anyway. Remember when like our opponent got like a turn to a Johnny and then it was bonkers, but then we're just like, nah, we good. We got this. You gotta tap down Charless Agent here, right? You tap on the Taiga. Um Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Deal. This guy just comes back to me hand. That was a good deal. Okay. Still comes back. Oh, Scarab Gotti. Come on, feel the noise. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana. So what we can do? Ooh. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. We want to just go this guy, and then this, then some sound. One, two. Now we need black and blue, so we need to save. One, two. Okay, so like this, right? And then we got one, two, three, four. Yeah, that seems fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can actually play sword. Uh, if you do draw a card. No, I'm good. We can actually reanimate Joyra, play Sword. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Actually, Frost Titan seems good here, right? Um, Jeez, <laughs> there are so many decisions here. We don't have that much time less than they do, so that's good. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's do this. We'll get back. Um, I don't want to pass because I want to be mana efficient here. I want to get a Joyra back. And then I want to play the sword so I can draw a card. Okay. Deal. Take a Johnny Lightning Helix, Johnny. That's actually pretty good. But I just don't care about their Johnny at this point. Hope you had a great birthday with plenty of tacos and margs. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, Savannah Lions. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, we'll just let this happen. Nicobolus? Come on, where's the Nicobolus? There we go. The universe is a simulation, guys! <laughs> All right, we have a good time. And let's go black, black, red, red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nicobolus. And we'll also draw a card from the Joyra. That seems good, right? Also, if we play this land... <laughs> Oh my god. Our opponent's like, I'm sorry. I'm like, dude, you are... No no worries whatsoever, my friend. Yeah, I'll discard this guy. Duplicate? Sure. We can actually um, reanimate two things. So, we'll go to your draw step. We'll get back Tide Hollow Skuller. Uh, we'll go blue, blue. Black, black. This one and this one. And we'll go one... Two, three, four. I think we have this game. Okay. This game was amazing, dude. I would wait to steal Johnny to ultimate it. I would just try to win the game. I think that's a little too cute for my tastes, but I appreciate... I'm going to bring in Spell Scout again because that guy's great. You're too cute. That's fair. I accept that. That's a that's a fair criticism. Oh, I see. We have a weaker serum visions in our deck. There it is. It's pretty rough. Did you draft this deck for me? I actually this this was a uh, this deck was actually a stipulation. Disc for duplicant. I don't like that at all. I am going to cut the duplicate, but I don't think Disc is coming in, especially because it kills a lot of our artifacts. Uh, I could see bringing in the Garrick, just because they don't have a ton of answers for it. And he's just a cool Planeswalker dude. Actually, I'm going to bring in this Myst... Oh, dang it. I was going to bring in the Mystic Snake. I don't hate this hand. I don't love it. But I think if we hit any green land or blue land here. Actually, blue land might be... We can get a taiga, I guess. Here we go. Alright, that's actually fine. You can hit one card. Two cards. One, two cards. Look at that. Garrick's so good, they had to duress him. Mox would be great here because we can go underground into Mox. Edric, huh? Okay. Okay. It's hard to know what to get with Scalding Tarn. We can get underground 
Uh, we can get Tiger. Okay, so probably leaning towards underground now, but this is pretty slow. Uh, this is a much slower start for them, which is nice. So now they're going to go Mox. Oh, no, okay. I was thinking Mox into a Johnny, which would have been a big surprise. Uh, Leovold is more of a pain than Garrick. I agree with you, but... What's your point, Zaichi? <laughs> what are you saying right now? Yep, just keep going underground. See right here, sort of body and mind. I'm just gonna get an underground here because it lets us play Olivia next turn, and I do want to actually cast this sword. I imagine I'll have four spike, but our deck is going to play on curve for a lot of the time, so. Yep. Oh, is it Charm? That's actually better for us. There, there's one. Jace, sure. Yeah, that's fine. I had a feeling you would take the lands. That makes total sense. Green land. Not a green land, nor is it a land that comes into play untapped. That is unfortunate. Oh, uh, unfortunately, you cannot take creatures with duress. That is not how duress works. Yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. We don't actually have any answers for this. They're 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 surprisingly enough, their their opening was much better that game than it was the previous game. I'm gonna bring in the Mystic Snake. And I'm gonna take out Probably Edric. I like this hand because it has all of our colors. Uh, Mike has a job, so Mike doesn't actually show up as frequently. Um, yeah, we, we have 41 cards regularly. It doesn't actually have any... <laughs> it doesn't have any bearing on anything. Um, this is all the colors. Yeah, we're going to keep this hand. Also, Spell Skite's very, very good. I, I go over the 41 card question all the time, because it's actually... It's not really that relevant. It's not nearly as relevant as you think. And it's the equivalent of playing 16 and a half lands and 23 and a half spells rather than 17, 23. Yeah, we're going to draw Leovold and it's going to curse us. Vindicate. I almost kind of like vindicating their island here. That's actually kind of funny. Um... Let's play a mox. They, we know they have four spikes. So we're just going to play around with that. Yeah, that seems fine. I will redirect your crack to my spell skype. Land Tax Arena. Well, I'm definitely killing that. Wow. <laughs> That's actually pretty painful because now they get the search too. That's pretty brutal. When you get a chance, you should do a worse card in pack step. That sounds pretty bad. That sounds uh, pretty bad. He 
Yep. Well, haven't seen Remand in three games, so. Just casual draw three. Sure. This is this is significantly less fun. I guess we're hoping you don't have counterspell for this, because I mean Never don't have it. Yep. The old nine cards to two cards. Always a fun, always a fun time. That's cool. I wanted to redirect, but I couldn't un F6 fast enough, I guess. Yeah, we should have also kept the blue up. I don't know why we didn't. It's probably going to cost us, but... Two, three, four, five... Whatever. Well, actually, do we know five of their seven cards? Do they only have two cards in hand? That aren't these lands? That's pretty good, I guess. Yep. Sure. <laughs> so now we know they have five lands. And one other card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God, if Johnny just kills Olivia. That's pretty obnoxious. Yep, just gonna pass here and uh, you know assume that you. There's so many cards we could have drawn that turn for seven mana that do things. Mystic Snake is great, but... Oh, is it raining here? Not yet. It looks pretty sunny here. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Well, five. Well, I guess they just never have to cast anything again, which is pretty bad. Interesting choice. I mean, we're 100% putting a counter on the relic, so it seems like you might want to. Gilded Lotus. One, two, three, four, 
Ten mana. What did they play? A mountain? Alright, mountain gone. So now these four and two of the cards. In response to my Johnny trigger, I will activate my colonnade. Go to five. Cool. All right, good times. That was a fun game up until the point where it was not a fun game. Good times. Um, this hand seems fine. I'll keep this. Can we move that? There we go. Seems good. A little weird that you'd play that, but what do I know? It always seems weird if, you're, if you play their, your power before you actually use it, because like you're just giving your not, not only are you giving your opponent the option to kill it, uh, you're also giving them the option to know that you have it and play around it. So if I if I saw you play this and I had a counter spell, I would just play an island and keep up counter spell. Yeah, this is a pretty sweet two for one. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Valkyrie, Elspeth, Sons, Champion, Espo, Opposition seems pretty good. Like, you only got a one mana discount on the on the Brimaz. You just could have played it this. You could have played this last turn and Brimaz this turn. And now you just wasted the one mana anyway. That was very strange. Uh, yeah, we'll discard Sculler here probably. Or planes. Yeah, that's fine. Next turn we can go Relic into Tide Hollow Sculler. Sculler, uh, not Sculler, but uh, Predator is pretty good against Hangerback Walker. Dreadbore versus Burmaz is a pretty good deal. Uh, do, 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 do. Hang a back walker. Dear sir, no matter how you read my book, it took me years to write. Have a little bit of the chef to chief. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, this is great. Now we just get to exile this. That's good times. Whoop. Peace out. Uh, one, two, three. Actually, we're just going to tarn here. We'll get an underground. 
Oh, then we can go one, two, three. Green, we'll go relic into blue, uh, green, shardless agent. Abrupt decay, yeah, so make sickness fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are real close to Nicol Bolas mana. I will block. Believe it or not, my Planeswalker on board is more important than my 2-2 artifact creature. I will Vindicate. I accept. Black, white thing. Let's see what you got here. Show me what you're working with. Whoa! Well, biscuits. It's all become clear. Holy smokes. What even? I guess. Yeah, it was Nick. I'm like, you can just have it. I don't even care. <laughs> I was like, just keep it, dude. Don't even worry about it. Um... I want to take the Rev because the opposition is easy to get rid of. Uh, if they do happen to draw like a double blue card, like uh, get back their Lotus somehow, they can actually Sphinx for a lot. So, it took me years to write. Could you take a look? Any blue land they draw is getting immediately vindicated. That is correct. That is the plan. Oh, no attack. Interesting. Paper bag right Now we have Nicol Bolas mana. So any any future lands we draw, we can just put in the put in the grumper. Put in the old garbage garbage bin. I actually think I want the white source because we have Vindicated. This is the, I don't think it matters. Easy, easy discard. Uh, we got a black. Get rewarded, I guess. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Scrabble God. And yeah, keep up Vindicate activation. Seems good. Hi Take his Burmaz. Yeah, that's good advice. Oh, that's getting vindicated. Chef to Chief, thanks so much for the resub. I wish I had started subscribing years ago. You're one of the best MT Thank you so much for saying so, buddy. Really appreciate it. Vindicate is a sorcery, that's correct. Thank you for Thank you for telling us. <laughs> this has been a public service announcement from Toxic Flames 3. Yeah, okay. I accept. I might just want the 4-4 flyer to kill the Garrick. Do they just draw three cards here? Yes, they do. Oh, I meant Scarab God. I don't know why I said Vindicate. I meant Scarab God. I see that feels pretty obvious because I literally counted the land beforehand, so it it's a kind of weird thing to to argue there. Because I mean, I was obviously like, yeah, I'll keep up Scarab God because I have I literally went one, two, three, four, keep up Scarab God. But whatever, doesn't matter. Um, well, let's put you on the top and put you on the bottom. Let's draw like four cards. Oh my god, we're gonna draw literally four cards. That's exciting. Oh boy, this is nice. And the extra kitty cat also deals a thing. Yeah, this is gonna be a bloodbath. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Yellow. Yeah, we'll just discard. One, two, three. One, two. Jesus. Why? 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 I'm just going to discard nothing because our hand is gas. Kill this because we don't need you doing any shenanigans. I'm gonna go on a limb and say you're gonna. It's it's looking close. It's looking close, buddy. No, <laughs> yeah, you knew what this was. Oh, second Garrick. It's a close one for sure. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Yeah, boy. Our board looks good. So we know they have Opposition and Cryptic Command in hand. I think that... Are they just splashing Cryptic Command off like two islands? Uh, I can put both these on the bottom. Nickel Bulls. Bloodstained Mire. Dang it. Dang it, Bloodstained Mire. What if we attack with everyone? What do we draw, like six cards? <sighs> they block here. They're just dead, right? Okay, I guess we just kill them. I mean, even if we don't duplicate the Thrag Daddy, we still have Lethal. Getting the Thrag Daddy out of the way uh, just makes them a replacement card, so... Oh, we could have ultimated and got Emrakul! No! Oh, we could have ultimated Nahiri for the cool points, and we didn't do it. One, two, three, four... Well, presume we drew five cards. They block one. Two, three, four, five... God, this deck is great. I am a dummy. Chef the Chief, I like that you're like, hey, draw with Nahiri. If we're going to activate Nahiri, that is not going to be the chosen mode, my friend. Should we splash this Masker Worm? Guy, that is a Shardless Agent. It's right here, buddy. He's in our main deck. Oh, bro, it's a K1 of your creatures. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, my God. They're playing the opposition deck. I want I want Mystic Snake in. They're also apparently playing blue and green. Apparently. I didn't. I don't know about the green, but I'm going to take out the duplicate. Guy seems a little bit slow. Guys, if you, if you want to know the stip, you just do command stip. There you go. Hoss Mania is on it. Undrum Tuna, have a good afternoon, buddy. Always a pleasure. I will keep this hand. Maybe. Yeah, it's got all the colors we need. We can get an underground with this. <laughs> Strip, you say? No. No, Pan, that's not okay. Oh, I guess we got the underground sandwich. Anyway, so Taiga it is, I guess. We get you the red source. Why didn't you lead with Temple Garden? It does it it costs you life. Well, it's not gonna be Brimaz. Well, that's a dude, isn't it? Mox Emerald off the top. That's all I ever wanted. It's all I ever wanted. I don't understand it. Guys. Guys. I don't understand it. Oh, simulation confirmed. 
All right. Phil Money, have a have a have a good work, buddy. Oh, a lotus with a monastery mentor on board. That's pretty good. You might be the future. <laughs> oh boy. I think we just joy right here. Oh my god, if you're born on Chicken Sunday, does that mean every day is your birthday? That's a that's brilliant. I think yes. <laughs> Frank, as you get older, do you feel your connection to the mainframe grow ever stronger? Uh I can't lie to you. I do. Uh, do you use a rental service playing MTGO decks? Uh, no, I, I have most of the cards I need. If I need to borrow cards, uh, GoatBots actually sponsors me. So if you guys uh, are looking to get cards, I would recommend GoatBots because they are awesome. And I think we died. I think we literally just died to this opposition. Tap everything you own. Yeah, we're just going to yield to that because I don't care. Yeah, this is really obnoxious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven if they cast a, a spell. Yep, no blocks. They have one card in hand. One, two, three, four. You can tap down four of my things. But we're dead on board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess we're not dead. Nine, ten, eleven. We don't have any instants, so adding mana doesn't do anything here. You're all I ever wanted. So one, two, three. We're either playing Trigon Predator here or Sword. Probably Trigon Predator. Uh, we left the 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 blue source we left our opponent with was a Black Lotus, so I don't feel terrible about it. I feel like attacking here is pretty loose. Yeah, that's what I figured. We're actually outpacing the mana here, which is pretty interesting. Oh, interesting. You gotta tap that guy down. Oh, tapping that down too? I get to keep a bunch of lands here? Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven if they play a guy. Twelve, thirteen if they make if they go spell spell yep all right it's actually pretty good draw a card oh relic seems insane here let's do the mana again mana's do, doing the mana is like doing the time war time warp let's do the time warp again Universe of Simulation Park Quadrillion. That's pretty good. Well done, Affinity. Well done. All right, so let's try not to die here, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have 10 mana, 11 if we activate Coalition Relic, and 12 if we play Island. So we get to actually 7 mana them. Oh, aggressive. 
But they have to actually try to win the game here, so I think this is actually pretty reasonable. You're all I ever wanted. Yeah, you gotta tap down the two creatures. Nicobolus. Nicobolus doesn't do anything. This is definitely... I, I think this might be a Supreme Verdict sideboard as well. Sure. Not ideal. Black, red, blue. He's a red. Two, three, four, five. Scrabble God. Draw a card. It's a land. Play a land. It's also a land. So we have two blockers. If they go tap, tap, we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're dead. All right, well. And they're just going to play something else. Yep, that's pretty good. This game seems like it was really close, but we just drew a million lands, which is actually good with opposition, but it's also bad when your opponent has a million dudes. Oh, they're going to let us block? This is fantastic. Oh, wow. That's great. Let's get down to business to defeat your opponent. Oh, we didn't actually use the ability. Dang it. They can only tap two guys, so we can actually sword here. Ooh, we can also get Monastery Mentor, which is pretty nice. Uh, well, I'm green. Sword would stop them from act act tapping the creature, but it only works on one creature, and we haven't really had a profitable amount of time to do that. So... Oh, uh, let's keep that on top. We're also going to get a monastery mentor here. We also messed up. We didn't. We didn't crack that because we were a little bit. Uh... Yeah, we're just we just we're just hemorrhaging value here, unfortunately. Um. One, two, three. Sword equip. We really got to take care of the opposition, unfortunately. I don't think Charlotte's agent has any way to do that. We have Vindicate in our graveyard. Do we have any way to get that back? Can we untap you in any way? I don't think so. Sword actually gives us another guy. Charlotte's draws us a card, but I don't know what card we're going to draw that's going to be good enough for opposition. Actually, that's pretty good, because this draws us a lot of cards. Dreadbore? Eh, we'll take the Sphinx's Rev. Sure. Nahiri? <gasps> oh my god, this game had just got bonkers, McMonkers. Two, three, four, five, six. Play you. One, two, three, four, 
two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. The only card we can't deal with is uh, the looter. And when you don't know what your hand is, you just drew a random card. Wow. We get to kill the looter next turn with Dreadbore. We still have Scarab God. <sighs> yeah, we would have been a lot tighter if we actually if we added a mana with the coalition relic. Garrick. Sure. Prowse is good. Prowse is good. Garrick also good, but we now we get Trigon Predator. Yep. All right, all right. We can also start dis. Holy bagolies! And we got a game, boys. Put you on top. Put you on top. Put you on top. And it's the end. I will discard one of these lands. You are a 3-4 from the counter. White, blue, one, two, three. Uh, I want to play one more, and I'm going to assume we're going to draw a land. Five is fine. I'll go to seven. Make another mentor token. We also have ancestral recall. Uh, we're not going to deck ourselves. We have plenty of cards. Emrakul. We also want to make sure that this uh, Garrick does not hurt us. We have one wolf. Attack you. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Um, if we actually play one, two, three, four, five, if we play Gilded Lotus this turn, we can actually just cast Emrakul next turn. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Draw another card. Make some more dudes. Uh, always yield to this, always yield to you, always yield to this guy, and always yield to you. All right. Yeah, we're going to cast Emrakul. A Proptikea Kreechi? Why would we do that? What did they do? Who did they target with the wolf? Oh, they targeted their own wolf with the wolf. <laughs> he was not long for this world. Wow, remember when we were going to lose this game because of opposition? And then our deck was... Absolutely broken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen mana. Hard cast Emrakul, brah. Discard Ancestral. Ooh, still had all these. Emrakul is almost like having Tom walk in your deck. That is a good point.
Yeah. This is fine. Red Robin. Yum. Get all them triggers. Yes. Yes! Uh, it doesn't matter. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Show me them bottoms. One, two, three, four, five, one. Boop. And we get to draw a card from the Joyra. <laughs> Gas. Gasoline. Mega Balls is like, hey, I heard you're going to win the game. I just wanted to watch. I'm going to pass here and just let Emrakul do the deed. Bottom. Bottom. I'll leave you on top. Get him. Boom, ba ba boom, ba ba boom, ba ba boom, boom, boom. Oof. Oof. All right. Despite that round two, not too bad, not too bad. This this was actually a really fun stipulation, and our deck turned out pretty good, I think. I think our fixing was good. Our colors were pretty rel pretty relatively easy to get. We had a Chromatic Lantern. We had a Gilded Lotus, and we had a Mox. So all, all in all, pretty good. Psytree, thank you so much for the stipulation. Really appreciate it. That was awesome. I had a good time. Hopefully, you will, too, when you watch this. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching on YouTube. Really appreciate it. If you guys like the content or want to support, check out my Patreon page or check out my Twitch profile. Both of those have great ways you can do that. And I will uh, see you next time, and you can smash those like and subscribe buttons.